If you are a Blender user, then you are probably tired of some of the annoying problems of modeling. These might be small problems, but if you model on a regular basis, then they become a challenge. That's why in today's video, we have a bunch of Blender add-ons made by Koshiro CG that will definitely help you when you are modeling in the software, from topology, booleans, arrays, and so much more. So if you want to save a ton of time and headaches, this is a good place to start. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first add-on we're gonna start with is a simple tool made specifically to help you copy your mesh along a selected edge loop. It can be used to come up with some cool designs and hard surface structures like tanks, bullets, magazines, chains, and so much more. And if you ever tried to make arrays or copy an object using the curve plus array modifier, then you have probably encountered issues like deformation in the objects or you just can't set up the axis correctly. This add-on completely solved these issues since it is powered by geometry nodes and we all know how powerful this can be. The good part about this add-on is that it comes with a lot of options, like the ability to adjust the number of copies, their rotation, scale, and even some offset controls for better flexibility. But this is not everything. The great thing about this add-on is that you can use it with all types of curves, loops, and edges. For example, you can use it with the closed loop or open edge line in addition to the ability to use it on existing edges of your mesh as well as curved surfaces. But if you want to really level up your modeling game, you should take a look at Grid Modeler. This add-on is perfect for making hard surface cuts using a very nice and easy grid technique. This method allows you to easily add micro detail to your object simply by drawing your shape which is better and faster than having to manually model the object. And once you are done drawing your desired shape, you can do multiple things using it, from boolean, cutting, creating new faces, slicing, and so much more. In addition, if you want finer control over the shape that you want to cut, you can use construction guides and an advanced grid system that is similar to the tools you find in CAD modeling software. And using this add-on is pretty easy. First, pick a face, or a group of faces which are on the same flat surface. Next, simply right click on the selected faces and choose the tool from the menu that shows up. Once you have done that, you will observe grid-like lines displayed on your screen. As you move your mouse, it will automatically align with these grid lines. If you want to change the size of the grid, hold down the control key on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel to make it bigger or smaller. Simple Bend is another add-on that simply makes it a lot easier for you to bend your object in a lot of different ways. Using it, you can effortlessly bend your subdivided mesh with a few clicks. And all you have to do is select the faces that you want to bend or just the middle part of the mesh that you want to bend. Then you have to move your mouse and you can watch your mesh bending in real time until you get a bend that you are happy with. You also have the flexibility to easily manipulate the chosen mesh by simply dragging along the axis. Additionally, it is possible to bend only the selected part of your mesh while making sure that connected geometries will adapt properly. The next add-on is targeted towards a very specific issue when you are modeling, which is using the inset feature. If you have ever modeled anything in Blender, then you must have already used the built-in inset tool and it gets the job done, don't get me wrong. Especially when you are working with a very primitive face, like a circle or a rectangle. But if you ever try to inset a complex face, like an N-Gon, then you know it will make the whole thing go crazy. And this is where this add-on comes in handy. Using its smart algorithm, it can inset any complex face while preserving 100% of the original round corners. And the very nice thing about it is that it has an adjustable threshold parameter that you can change to avoid overlapping corners, in addition to a setting for defining the corners that need to be preserved. But if you need something else, there is also Mesh Copier, which is an add-on that does just like its name suggests. It lets you copy mesh details from one face of your object to another, and you can do it through two methods, both of which are very easy to use. First, you can select the edges around specific details that you wish to copy and set them as the source. Then, take the faces where you intend to paste the details and just like that, perform the paste operation. On the other hand, you can choose a face as your source, 
if you have additional separate pieces that you want to duplicate, add them alongside the source face. Once you have combined these details, proceed to copy them. Finally, pick the target faces where you would like to paste these copied parts, and that's it. These two methods offer a straightforward way to duplicate mesh details and enable you to create more intricate models with repeated components without wasting a lot of time and effort, which is really handy, if you ask me. Slide Edge is another handy tool for copying and sliding edges. It is great for all tasks like retopology and general modeling, making it a valuable addition to your modeling tools. From what I can see, it can be a versatile tool that helps you copy and move edges easily, and it is super handy for tasks like fixing your model's shape or making it look just right. You can use it to slide edges in and out, which means you can adjust your model's shape exactly how you want it to be. It's really flexible and great for making your model look perfect. Even if your model has some tricky spots with connected edges, Slide Edge can handle it smoothly and it won't mess up the connections between the parts, which is really great. Plus, you can pick specific edges on the edge of your model to move them, giving you more control. And here is the best part. You can choose edges from different places in your model and move them all together, which makes it much easier to work on complex models. Now, if you want to talk about retopology, we have BetaQuad, which is a specialized tool for retopologizing selected faces in your mesh, whether it is a single angon or a portion of your mesh, or even all the faces if needed. What makes this add-on stand out is its unique quad retopology algorithm, since it respects the angon's border direction, ensuring smooth quad alignment with the original face's shape. It also includes a crucial parameter, which is quad size and it determines the number of resulting quads which can be very useful. However, be cautious with very large or small scaled meshes, as it may lead to issues like excessive quad creation or insufficient space. A common workflow when using this add-on is quick remeshing with beta quad, followed by mesh adjustment using Blender editing tools for bending, twisting, and smoothing the surface. Next we have Face Cutter. And this add-on is a handy solution for cutting angons fast and easy. With it, you can create perpendicular or rotated cut lines on selected faces using easy-to-find snapping points. A very nice feature is the ability to adjust the number of subdivisions and snapping points to make precise cuts along these lines. Moreover, it is capable of cutting through the entire mesh, thanks to its use of Blender's Knife Projection API. Additionally, Face Cutter allows you to define a cut line by specifying two points or rotate a cut line by a specified angle. In essence, this animal serves as a highly convenient and versatile tool for various modeling tasks since it offers more functionality compared to Blender's default knife tool. Most importantly, it works seamlessly with angons, making it a valuable addition to your modeling toolkit. Last but not least, we have Bend Face which is a simple tool for easily rotating and moving selected faces of your model. You can use it to make precise adjustments by dragging with your mouse, either rotating with a left click or moving with a right click. For better accuracy and precision, you can input specific angles or distances directly in the menu at the bottom left. This add-on also lets you create edge loops between the original face and the rotated or the moved one, simplifying the process of creating bent shapes. So there you have it guys, if you are interested in one of these cool add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.